So at my camp for dinner I made I heated some vegetable rice and can of kipper, smoked kipper, fish and rice and salad. Next to this creek, soothing sound. That's the neighbor's huge tent. And that's my tent. Solid steel. Alright, let's eat. The afternoon after dinner walk. This trail goes all along the creek. I think to the other campground it's called Pine Grove Campground. Nice breeze, it's going to be a nice cool night. Water, water everywhere. morning of July 22nd early morning I got up broke camp and came to Mos Mosquito Flat trailhead it's the highest trailhead in the Sierras at 10,000 something feet and I have my breakfast at the trailhead because the trailhead gets full it's fast in like in another hour it will be full Then I'm gonna do the trail to hike to Mono Pass and then the, li the little lakes area here. So this is Little Lakes Valley Trailhead. And I'm gonna go to Mono Pass. Apparently this trail follows Rock Creek for a while and then it splits off not far from here from the trailhead bearing to the right goes to Mono Pass that's where I'm gonna go and when I get if I get back early enough then I may do the trail to the lakes very nice day cool breeze the smoke and haze has lifted at least for now and it's 8.40 a.m. Let's hit it! I slept to the sound of this creek so soundly last night very nice campsite at East Fork campground it's a very large campsite actually campground has 130 some plus campsites can reserve some but there are a lot of first come first serve available I have to stop and catch my breath often because the trailhead is actually at 10,100 feet it's the highest trailhead in Sierra Nevada I'm gonna go up to like 12,000 
200. So it's high altitude. Nice scenery. I just entered John Muir Wilderness too for bikepacking in it permits. So I made it to the trail junction. To the left goes to Little Lakes Valley, which a lot of people are going there. I think most people with their fishing gear. I'm gonna to go to the right to Mono Pass. Then on my way back I may go and check the Little Lakes Valley. I think from here I'll be all by myself. I'm gonna go somewhere up there. It's the little lakes valley down below. Most hikers are down there. And my old trails app says this is famous pond. Well, for now it's famous dry hole because it's been a dry season. Can go it says it can't go wrong taking a picture here. When the, this little hole is filled with water, I guess you get nice reflections of the mountains and all that. But even now it's pretty famous pond. Take my picture. So I made it to Ruby Lake. It's a backpackers camping area. There's a signpost over there. Gone up a thousand feet and almost two miles. So I have another thousand feet of elevation to go up right in the front. I think looking at the map. I go with I think there's a lot of switchbacks and then veers to the right and it's behind this ridge, the pass, Mono Pass. Very nice trail. I haven't seen a single hiker here. Just a pair of backpackers were coming down. Whereas the other trail is a lot of people on that one. Little Lakes Valley. Magnificent scenery. Going up to Ruby Lake. is up there I'm gonna go back and take the trail to Mono Pass. We just took the side trail to Ruby Lake. It's only two miles from the trailhead. Perfect for backpacking and camping. There's actually a tent here already. You too? Yeah. 
Is that like for overnighter? It's a six mule power train. Six mule power train. Seven. I'm just a one man powered hike. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So I have another like 900 feet to go. It's 11,200 feet. I, my body starts slowing down, really slowing down by after 12,000 feet. I don't know why, my, everybody's body is different, lungs. It's based on my experience in going to La Paz, Bolivia, that's 14,000 feet, and then going around hiking there, to like 15,000 feet. After like 12,000 feet, I'll start gap, gasping for air. La Paz, I had to stay a couple of days to get used to the altitude. Alright, head it! Officially, I'm stopping here to take a picture of Ruby Lake down there. But officially, I'm just gasping for air. Oh, so serene here. on my list to come backpacking here. Another 800 feet of elevation to go. Look at that glacier. Glacially cut U-shaped valley up there. And here's the mule train. They're gonna overnight it at Mono Pass, I think. They're fast, these mules. So after you round the bend on the trail away from Ruby Lake, it becomes the trail becomes less developed or visible. So I just follow the mule tracks, and I just check my all trails app to make sure I'm on the trail, which I am. And there is Mono Pass, Mono Pass, up there. So I'm at like eleven thousand seven hundred fifty. The pass elevation is 11,900 some, so another maybe 200 feet to go up there. And then I'll check and see if I want to go to that summit lake to water up. I'm going to check my water, see what's going on, so I have enough water to go down at least where there is a source of water. Half it! I made it to Mono Pass, exactly 11,900 feet. I can see the summit lake, so I'm gonna go there and check my water. If I need water, I'm gonna put more water and filter it. If not, I'll go back down. I think those Sierra granite scape landscape and I think there was big storms here that came a couple of days ago so everything is lush and there's a lot of water so that's good you see there is a lake down there and which lake that is a lot of lakes up here puffy clouds fair weather clouds there's a mountain up here like a tabletop so I'm gonna take a break, eat my lunch snack, and go back. So done with my quick 15 minute lunch break. Avocado egg salad and beef jerky and pork rinds and some dried olives. 
and macadamia nuts saving some of the sweets for on the trail or I'm gonna stop by that ruby lake area and maybe take a nap or something I'm gonna head, start heading down 1230 exact back over the Mono Pass 12,000 feet I'm hoping these are fair weather clouds not Thunderheads building I actually saw in the back when I was eating lunch the helicopter was carrying a water to douse some fires. I guess there are some wildfires that are on here still. Just want to make it down to lower elevation in case it gets thunderstorms. I doubt it. I hope not. However, uh, from here it's downhill. So I made it down the pass. From here everything is downhill, resting, enjoying the scenery, eating my chocolate and macadamia nuts and carrots, my after lunch snack. Only have about 1500 feet to go down, maybe another hour and a half to go. I'm just gonna sit here and get into my zen zone. We made it down to the junction with Ruby Lake Trail. I'm gonna cool off my feet, get in the water a little, enjoy the sounds and coolness of the water. So clear. Oh good, cold. That's a real smile now. I only get smiles like this when I'm in nature. Feet are going numb. It took like a minute, less than a minute to go numb. Woo That's the sound of joy. I came from up there, from up there, and then came down switchbacks down here, came down 1100 feet, I have another 800 feet to go, maybe another hour, one and a half miles down to go, and get out of the water and take a nap. So we made it back to the trailhead. Mos mosquito flat trailhead. It's around 3.15. I left at 8.45. I'd say between the going to the to the pass, Mono Pass and that Summit Lake and also doing the side trail to Ruby Lake. It's about 10 miles I did. And 2,500 feet of elevation. All trail says 8.4 just to the Summit Lake. But going to Ruby Lake and back, I think I added like a mile or so. 2,500 feet of elevation, an hour of goofing around, lunch break, snack break, and playing in the water. So this is one of the more scenic trails, trailheads I've seen. It has nice picnic tables. And it's the highest trailhead in the Sierras, 10,100 feet. 
And I go sit by a picnic table and decide what to do tonight.